So for this playthrough, I decided to pick Driven Assimilators. Think the Borg from Star Trek. Time to make my empire. I chose Gestalt Consciousness and Machine Intelligence. Then picked up the Driven Assimilator Civic, as well as Rapid Replicators. Since I took Driven Assimilator, I got to pick traits for robots and cyborgs. For robots, I picked Mass Produced, High Bandwidth, Bulky, and Efficient Processors. For cyborgs, I picked Industrious, Rapid Breeders, Deviants, and Fleeting. I started the game, picked my research, went through my policies, and checked my species rights. All good. I saw a habitable world nearby, so I made preparations to colonize it. I also found a second habitable world right next to that one. As a machine empire, I could colonize just about every world I came across, which was pretty cool. So for my first tradition, I chose supremacy since my plan was to assimilate the first biological empire I came across. Since I could colonize everything, I had science ships surveying and others exploring. I made contact with some aliens. It did not look like another empire, so good for me. I established my first colony and decided to make it a forge world. This alien's fleet power was way too high to be another empire. It was most likely a faction. Now this was an alien empire. This was clearly a science ship surveying. When I was patrolling with my ships, I got jumped by an alien empire. I knew then that I had to start pumping out ships. The empire established contact with me, so I began to make plans to go to war. I discovered that they only had two planets. That was an indicator that they were weaker than me for the most part so I had to just keep pumping out ships. To my dismay, the two empires I just met had formed a defensive pact, meaning I'd have to fight both of them if I wanted to fight one of them. Not sure how I was going to respond to this. I decided to hold off and keep expanding. I discovered the two empires were at war with an unidentified empire. I saw this as an opportunity to swoop in and hit them while they were busy. I waited for the war exhaustion to be higher before I went to war with them. Then I saw that they were both inferior in fleet power. I had to pump out more ships and then attack them soon. Then their war ended. I was ready to attack. It was a gamble, but this was my chance. I went deep into enemy territory and took one of their planets. The planet and its population now belong to me. I was shocked when I realized I had seized their home world with little resistance. Suddenly I had 50 pops undergoing assimilation. This was great. I had assimilated my first empire. Now I needed to take care of their ally. Not sure how difficult this was going to be, but if it was as easy as the first empire, I would have a good feeling about the rest of the game. It appears I was correct in thinking they would be weak after fighting another empire. I ordered my fleet to make the long trip over to the Galactic Glarian community to assimilate them. Sure enough, an enemy fleet appeared near my border. I was surprised it took them this long to get there. My fleets were still far away. I quickly realized I outnumbered them. This was a good sign. I ordered my forces to engage them. They took a couple systems, but I would retake them. I crushed the first fleet they sent at me. This was not looking good for them. They were taking heavy losses. I began to take their systems one by one. And with that, I assimilated the Galactic Glarian community. While they no longer existed, their distinctiveness was added to my own. I was getting pretty powerful. I believe it was time to consolidate and build up my economy, my technology, and my unity. I decided to build spy networks on my neighbors so I could get a better idea of how powerful they were and pick off the weakest empires. My economy was going strong. I decided to start colonizing the planets within my borders. War with the League of Skeru was on the horizon. I waited for the war they were already in to simmer. Then I would move in. I started building up my forces at their border. That was when I discovered they had a defensive pact with the Vuller commonality. I was tempted to declare war anyway, but I decided to back off. I would build up my forces and attack them when I got stronger. I was naval capped and had 11,000 alloys in storage ready to pump out cruisers. I was ready. 
It was time to declare war. If you like my stuff, you know what to do. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.